I put out a video debunking Dutch's heart rings and scalar square nonsense a while ago. Dutch filed the MCA against it. He stated that he would stand by his copyright claim in court. Our survey said... Dutch claimed that the video of his, which I debunked, was an old one made when he was just learning. Learning what, Dutch? To read? I'll ignore for the moment the fact that he states elsewhere to have years of study behind him. The patent he was reviewing had just three pages of type and 16 pages of illustrations, and yet he managed to misinterpret every basic fact about the patent, including what it was actually for. You would assume that Dutch's earlier comment meant that he had now progressed beyond the learning stage, yet he is still posting video after video proving conclusively that he does not understand basic radio concepts such as geometric modulation using circle sweeps, sawtooth and line sweeps. I have tried to debate this with Dutch. Dutch even offered to debate with me in chat. When I accepted his offer he backed out, claiming he had only offered a live debate which I cannot do, and that I had backed out of that. Although I never agreed to it. Dutch lied. Dutch stated that he does not, nor has ever claimed, to have years of study, though the wiki page, which he wrote himself, states just the opposite. Dutch lied. Dutch's wiki page, and many of his videos, claim that heart rings are somehow created by the mysterious they tuning their weather manipulators down to VLF or up to UHF passing through the radar spectrum. This is utter nonsense and exposes a staggering ignorance of radio and radar. Ignoring reality, can you imagine the response from the locals as all local cell phones, radios, TVs, GPS, medical instrumentation, garage door opens and computer Wi-Fi was knocked out by this amazing sweep of the EM spectrum. Dutch claims that these are harp rings. Anyone with a basic knowledge of radar would know precisely what these are. Anyone who'd read up on how Nixrad performs multiple sweeps at various elevations would know what these are. Only someone who does not understand radar, cannot read, or has decided to deliberately misinform people would claim that they are anything but what they are. Dutch claims that bad weather always strikes after a ring has appeared. Now the rings are where weather radar has detected cloud or precipitation. What Dutch is saying is that after clouds or precipitation are detected on radar in an area, there is rain or storms. That's not news, Dutch. That's weather. And of course, Dutch often gets his predictions wrong, because clouds do not always bring rain and storms. Which is why Dutch disables comments on all his older videos. He's hoping that no one will notice and that his blinkered sheep will be focused on his latest droppings rather than checking back on his decaying bullcrap. We call this confirmation bias, a real boon to conspiracy theorists and doomtards. Dutch says that he states opinions and does not lie, yet his videos are full of claims of proof and validation. If he is only stating an opinion and does not have proof or validation, then he is lying when he states that he does. And if you are not lying, Dutch, then why do you remove all the comments from videos which call you out as a liar and provide evidence of it? Like all the volcano plumes you claim to see, which were proven to be controlled fire burns, and which unsurprisingly stopped appearing once the growing season started and the control burns stopped. Now, none of my videos have comments disabled, Dutch. None of my videos have comments removed. I only remove a comment if the language gets especially vile, and in that case I request the poster to tone it down and repost. But then I have no one blocked on my channel either. How many people are in your blocked list, Dutch? Your subscribers defend you and tell me that you are not accusing anyone of murder, Dutch. Yet video after video claims that they, whoever they are, that is real people, are deliberately causing storms and tornadoes and earthquakes. These things kill people, Dutch. And so if you state that people are deliberately causing them... And the earthquake occurred at 12.02 p.m. noon on March 20th, 2012, 7.9 in Mexico. Okay, that is a man-made earthquake. Then you are claiming that people are committing murder. But you go further than that, don't you, Dutch? 
Implicit in this response of yours, now deleted from the video of course, you were saying that the NWS are murderers or complicit in murder. And of course it's not just all of the NWS and HARP employees that you are casting aspersions on, is it Dutch? You regularly accuse the USGS of manipulating data or removing data, like you did with your imaginary volcanic plumes and recently with a mild earthquake in Wyoming. Of course the USGS operates in the real world Dutch, where initial reports are followed up by careful analysis of data collected from around the world, and the collection and interpretation of this data results in them modifying their initial assessments. And there are times when known incorrect data is removed and before corrected data is made available. This is what we expect from a responsible agency Dutch. What we expect from conspiracy theorists is a misinterpretation of the facts, followed by dismissal of reality and statements which incite people to mistrust any official statement. And that is precisely what we get from you Dutch. I could go on and on and on Dutch, and I might just do so if you do not rein in your nonsense. But your subscribers should pause for thought as well, and ask themselves whether they want to support someone who is a proven and documented liar, who refuses to debate and lies about that, who lies about his credentials and then lies about lying about his credentials, who accuses some anonymous they of committing murder through weather manipulation and geoengineering, who removes all comments from his videos to hide the fact that he is continually caught out in his lies, and who does it all for money, as evidenced by the link to your PayPal account in the description of each of your videos. Those supporters who mistrust their own government and officialdom should perhaps ask themselves why they trust Dutch since. Thank you for watching.